What's up guys, my name's Dave from the Spin Rhythm XD development team. The game's in early access, so we're gonna keep adding features as we keep patching the game. If you've got any feature suggestions, just jump into Discord and let us know what you'd like to see added. Let's jump into the customs menu and have a look. There are two modes to the customs menu. There's a play mode and edit mode. You can switch between them by hitting this button. Play mode simply for playing your custom levels and edit mode allows you to create new tracks, manage existing tracks by editing them, deleting them or backing them up. There's also a button to open your customs folder. So check the editor guide on our website linked in the description for more details on the file types and the structure required to import your own music. Hitting create will make a blank level with the tutorial music as the default tune. Hit the edit button to head into the clip editor. I'm going to hit spacebar to pause the game. Hitting this button, edit, will send you to the clip editor. It's important to properly set up your track before you start editing notes, or you may run into some problems down the line. The question mark button here will take you to our editor guide on the website that I mentioned before. Let's jump into track details in the top right and set up the details of our track. What I'm going to do first is import the audio clip from Metropole by Anomaly. This is the custom track I'm going to be setting up today. Just select it from the audio clip list there. Please note you'll need OG Vorbis format. The game won't recognize MP3s or other OG formats. I'm going to set the album art just below. Let's name it. Artist is Anomaly. There's no featured artist or subtitle this time. That's me, the charter. Let's make it a difficulty six. And today we're going to be editing an expert level. Actually, let's just put all of them on for now. Let's set up the BPM of this track. By default, tracks will have a BPM marker at the start of the level and a time signature marker too. These two are clickable and editable on the right. So we need to figure out what BPM this track is. And to do that, we can use the inbuilt tap BPM tool. So what I'm going to do is make sure the metronome's off, just run the track and tap along. Cool, it looks like it's around 100. So I'm going to guess 100 for this one. Let's um, make sure the start of the level's in the right spot, just by clicking and dragging the BPM marker. Can zoom into the waveform a bit just to line it up perfectly. Make sure metronome's on, let's check. Sounds good to me, let's skip ahead to see if it stays like that. Yeah, that's great. Kind of dropped out a beat here though. That's because something strange happens at the start of this track. Yeah, there's this bar here of three plus four or seven or whatever you want. So let's click this plus button to add another marker. Actually, we don't need that one, so I'll just delete it. Got a meter change here. Let's give it a bar of 7-4. Nice. Goes back to 4-4 four, four here. So you can add cue points to your level as well by using the slash key, which is where question mark is on your keyboard. You can name these cue points. Very simple. And you can use the dot button next to it to delete them. I've actually set up all the cue points in another save, so I'm gonna move over to that one to show you. All right, guys, you can see we've got all of our cue points set up here. You don't need to set up cue points for your track, but they can be really handy in a couple of ways. So if you hit N or B, that'll go next or back. So you can jump between these cue points. If you press G, it will just go 
back to the last cue point you selected. So if you're scrolling through, you get somewhere else, you're like, oh, where was I? I was back there. And this is really powerful in the note editor too. As you can see, you can jump between sections really easily, either using hotkeys or your mouse. Here we are in the note editor. Let me just quickly run you through what you will see on the left and the right when you get started. So on the left, you've got a list of some stats of your level. So it'll show you what difficulty you're actually editing. You can tab through these by pressing tab or hitting the change difficulty button. Current time, current beat, your playback speed, which you can adjust by pressing shift P to speed up or P to slow down. Very powerful if you want to really hone in on some fine rhythm and make sure it's perfect. And this option here, clap notes. So if you press shift and C, we'll enable clap notes or disable them. This will play a little tick over the top of whatever notes you've placed on the track. Let's just quickly talk about how to move around the timeline using the keyboard. Pressing up or down will move in small increments. Holding Alt will move in one beat increments. It's a much faster way of getting around. Holding Shift will snap to the next note. It will also select notes. Holding D will do the same thing without selecting. So it'll just directly move to the next note. This even works with stacks of notes. So if you have two notes on top of each other and you're holding D, it'll cycle between them. Holding control while a note's selected will move that note or any selection of notes. If you're holding control, you can move a group. Hold control and shift and it will move in groups of one beat. You can click and drag around the timeline if you need or snap between cue points with left click. You can group select notes by holding shift currently, but that's pretty much it. To place a note on the timeline, Let's find a blank space. We'll hit H to remove the audio clip preview. Just hit one for a match note, two for a tap, three for a beat note, four for a hold note, five for a spinner, and six for a scratch note. Pressing shift and one will give you a red match and tap note. Shift three will actually give you a beat tail for beat holds. Shift four will give you an additional tail for your hold note. Shift five will give you an opposite spin. And shift six just gives you a tail as well. These tail notes with shift four or shift six are pretty powerful in some ways. You can stop spin notes early with them. You can stop scratch notes early with them as well. Or you can just make some crazy patterns in your hold note. There's another way to get notes into the timeline and that's recording mode. The game's always recording, so you can press space to resume playback and then just tap in time with the music. That's not a great looking level, but um, it will place the notes where you put them. It's a bit laggy at the moment, but we hope to improve this in the future. I'm gonna talk now about a few extra, more powerful things that will help you edit really quickly. So let's make a simple pattern of notes. If we select all of these, we can hit C to change the color of them all at once. If we hit M, that mirrors them. If we say get the rhythm a bit out or we have a few extra notes in there and we think it needs to be evened out, you can select all of them and hit E to space them evenly. This is powerful if you wanna create quick groups of quintuplets, for instance. 
one, two, three, four, five. Just select them all and press E and you'll get a perfect quintuplet. This also works if there's multiple notes stacked in one spot. It will treat the last two notes as a single note. To do some advanced hold note editing, there are a couple of things you can do. If you select one of the points, either the starting tap note or the tails in between, hold Alt, press left and right, and you'll get the different curves. You can have a lot of fun with these to make some unique patterns. If you want a lift off note at the end, just select the last one and move left twice with Alt, and you'll get a lift off note. If you need to select all of your notes for whatever reason, if you just want to delete them all, you can just press A to select them. There's a couple of extra things you can do, which are pretty standard, but also quite powerful. Control C will copy and paste. You can make quick patterns this way. Undo and redo is Control Z and Control Shift Z. M will mirror notes and the delete key will delete them. The F key is another powerful key. You can actually move notes quite precisely. Once they're selected, if you hold F and press up and down, you can get fine motion that way. I'll quickly finish off this pattern just to show you how simple it is to edit levels in this editor. Let's hit Control S to save. Head out to play mode and have a look. All right guys, thanks for watching. Remember this edit is still in early access. And we're gonna be updating it in the future, adding more and more cool features. If you have any special feature requests, just jump into Discord and let us know.